Good night, good afternoon, good morning. You know who I'm picking up? Raheem Devon. Yeah, that's a throwback right there. Um, dang, what's the name of his song? Uh, Raheem Devon. I can't think of the song name, but anything by him. I'm just picking up that energy right now. So, Collective, how you guys doing? I hope everyone is wonderful. I want to do another reading. Spirit led me to do another reading. I had got a new deck that I was charging most of the day. And um, when I went to shuffle the deck, two cards spinned out. And it's Justice and the Page of Cups. Okay? Can y'all see that? Justice and a page of cups. Okay. It says what needs to be res resolved and set right in your life. Right. And then page of cups is <clears throat> what situation in your life is bringing about some type of opportunity. So I feel like, you know, for those of you that wondering late at night. You know, when is this person coming into my life? When am I getting due justice with my heart, with my emotions? I've done the work. I've, um, you know, I just want to know. <laughs> I just want to know. So <clears throat> let me go ahead and light this really quick and clear the energy I hope everyone is doing wonderful. Thank you so much for tuning in to Miss Moon's Motivational Tarot, where I'm here to help you on your human and spiritual experience, okay? Um, I appreciate you guys. I really do. And I'm very humbled to be able to come to you with a reading each and every time. Ancestors of our highest good and light, protect my throat chakra, because... There's some hidden messages that <clears throat> every time I want to speak, your 5D person is not ready for me to reveal everything or some things or anything. I'm not really sure why. But um, regardless, justice is here and a new offer is coming in. So I feel like this person is definitely being led to you to um, this thing was just lit lit <laughs> it was just lit lit so give me a second y'all i know what i'm about to do oh sorry let me put that one in there i hate these ashes i gotta clean this with some florida water bear with me one second i'm about to add some cinnamon to the energy I got these little cinnamon sticks. They so cute and they smell so delicious, yo. I'm in love with cinnamon. I mean, I was in love with the spice as is, but the aroma of it on this level. Okay. So, um, like I was saying, I feel like a lot of you are desiring this person to come in. They want to meet you, too. I believe that's why justice is here to get things moving, you know. Um, <clears throat> a lot of you are, you know, holding on to that lit candle inside. And um, I feel like you have a lot of justice, um, karmic good debt coming to you. Um Credit, not debt. Thank you, spirit. Karmic credit coming towards you, okay? And you see how this little boy <laughs> is shadowed, but the page of cups is literally sitting there bright as hell, right? And then you see these emotions, right? They're back and forth, back and forth, wondering when it's going to be the right time. Um <clears throat> They've been filling their own cup. They've been working on their shadow side. Thank you, spirit. 
Um, this person could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> or this could be you, Collective, right? Learning how to love on yourself. And um, when you finish one chapter, Justice comes in and be like, all right, you ready? You ready? You ready for what I have for you? Okay? Let me move this here. Let's move this here. <clears throat> so, I'm going to get an overall reading of <clears throat> you and your future lover, potential lover. We have a new moon in Libra coming up on the 6th of April. You know... This is this this moon is something else because it's a beautiful moon. Don't get me wrong. It's a pink moon. Don't get me wrong. Okay. I got the little candle out here <clears throat> to really bring in that bling when it comes to love. Not only loving yourself, but also loving others. Right? Um it's packaged with a lot of good things. But April 6th breaks down to the number 10, right? And so, new beginnings, right? An ending to a beginning. So, let's see what Spirit want to say when it comes to the overall energy with this Page of Cups and Justice. <clears throat> it could be a Libra-Pisces combo. Somebody could have Pisces and Libra in their chart. Or they could be a Libra with Pisces. Um... Yeah. All right, spirit ancestors of our highest good and light. Thank you so much for coming in this late night message reading that you guided me to do for collective. Okay, so let's see what spirit want to say. All right, I got this in the wrong spot. <laughs> page of cups, center stage. No page of cups. I gotta clarify you. All right. Ooh. Somebody coming in on a motorcycle or they drive an old car with a, a rough engine. Not rough like in a bad way, just a strong, a strong um, engine. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. <clears throat> enlightenment. With enlightenment. Sorry, y'all. With enlightenment, the light was on top of the light. I feel like the, you and this person... I'm really feeling like you guys are soulmates because I did say your future lover and I'm picking up you both are desiring each other. Okay. So you're very spiritually connected. Um, spirit is gifting you guys something that will require both of you to connect in order for this to be whole. In order, in order for this enlightenment to be revealed. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it says, with enlightenment, there is no separation. We recognize that we are one with the divine. You and this person are very spiritual, very highly connected. You're both star seeds, okay? And I feel like this is no ordinary love. <laughs> By Sade, this is no ordinary love, okay? Um... <clears throat> You know, Justice is, is Libra, and Libra is ruled by Venus. Pisces is Neptune, and they're ruled by, you know, dreams and visions and illusions and bringing things into reality. And I feel like with air and water, that's a whole lot of um, flowing energy. Right. Um, and I feel like the enlightenment is very spiritual. Right. Because spirit runs off of water and air. So that's why I feel like you guys are very much highly spiritual. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and get some clarification. I'm going to um, I'm going to do justice first. Thank you, Spirit. I'm going to do justice first. All right. Thank you, Spirit. 
<clears throat> Let me shuffle real quick. Yeah, you have the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, for those of you that are Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or have it in your sign, somewhere in your chart, I feel like Spirit is saying, I see a card flipped over. Really, Spirit, already? I'm shuffling, yo. <sighs> the Knight of Pentacles, slow moving. Okay, it says, uh, what situation in your life requires slow movement? And determination. Um, so these are two offers. All right. One is very new. And one is very slow. <laughs> this person was hiding in between the cards. So I feel like this is someone different. Or it could be this person. Who really wants to offer a stable relationship. Right? Long longevity. They really want to invest in this offer with you. And I feel like that's what the enlightenment is. Okay? For you or for them. All right? Five of Swords. Right? Um, <clears throat> it says, what situation in your life is creating some type of power struggle? Um, I feel like, you know, this person that's coming in with the offer... They've been going through some obstacles that really... What is wrong with these cards? I'm not doing this, Spirit. I, I had this happen the other day where there were certain cards flipped over in a deck. Mind you, you got the Queen of Swords. You got the Six of Swords. You got the Two of Pentacles. This is crazy. You got Death, <laughs> Scorpio. You got the Nine of Cups. Oh, my goodness. I'm not doing this, Spirit. You got the Six of Pentacles, right? You got the Will of Fortune. I guess I am doing it. I thought I was pulling from the deck, but Spirit is like, you got judgment, justice, and judgment is here. The JJ sisters, okay? Duprosity, right? Um, <clears throat> This is all justice talking. This is what justice want to talk about. Justice sister is out here with judgment, okay? What is trying to get your attention? So, some type of final answer has to come out. I'm going to put these two together because they go together like peanut butter and jelly. You have the Nine of Cups. You have the Will of Fortune. You have the Six of Swords. You have the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> you have a some type of balance. You got two balance cards. You got the Six of Pentacles and you got the Two of Pentacles. So really trying to figure out how to balance out the finances. You have Death along with the Nine of Cups and the Will of Fortune. All right. So <clears> hmm. <throat> <sighs> Okay, so collective, this person, your body person is definitely coming towards you, okay? What do you need to remove yourself from peace or wind, of wind, of peace of mind, I'm sorry, peace of wind, peace of mind, okay? So I feel like this person is definitely being spiritually led divinely to you, okay? Um, 1120 could be significant. All right. And I feel like they're being led to you and they're literally getting that understanding and clarity. They're really paying attention. They're quiet. Um, they're just, you know, these two cards have similar colors. That's why I feel like this is your person. Okay. They could be a Libra. I've, I have a strong feeling that they are, um, but they could be Aquarius or Gemini, okay? Um, <clears throat> it's 
excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Um, I feel like this person is being guided and led to you, okay? And they're being guided and led to you because, first of all, Spirit wants me to point out that they're not getting equal give and take, okay? They're not getting equal give and take. I mean, give, give and receive. They're not getting equal give and receive, okay? Um, there's some balance in the love department that needs to happen. Some new energy that needs to happen. And I feel like spirit is guiding this person towards what would make them happy. And they're leaving something behind, okay? I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles... Um, thank you, Spirit. That's where I go. With the Knight of Pentacles, they've been slow moving about it. Really trying to figure out what their next move is, where they're going. Um, and so Spirit is de definitely pulling them towards you. Okay? Pulling them towards you. Because they realize that, you know, um... I can't invest in something that is not balanced. Mm -hmm. And so spirit is putting a death to a situation. Um, I'm going to say this. Two things. <clears throat> this person on the ground is who they're leaving behind. It's an end. And they're walking towards you. Now, some of you can have children, okay? They're definitely walking towards you. And this is a big transformation. Um, this is spirit-led. If you see the Pope or the monk or whatever you want to call it, this is something that they, divide, they must do. This is necessary transition, and this is necessary transition. Okay, they already know that they have to go down this road. And um, <clears throat> the Two of Pentacles speaks of loss. Um, the Two of Pentacles speaks of, you know, really trying to make a decision on balancing things out in their life with their abundance, with their money. Okay. Um, and I feel like this person that they're leaving behind was the cause and the root to them not really being prosperous. And spirit is, is guiding them to where they're needed. And they're needed with you. Okay. And so as that starts to happen, right, here come fate. Fate, will of fortune, a new opportunity. Okay. Um a lot of changes are going to be entering into your life. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this person is part of your destiny, part of your life purpose. Okay. And best believe they are your wish fulfillment and you are their wish fulfillment. Nine of cups. Okay. You both want the same thing. All right. Um, You're going to get a lot of emotional fulfillment being with this person. <clears throat> okay. Let me go ahead and slide this down just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So. Let's talk about you. Whether you are Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or not. Let's talk about you. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Um, well, I didn't even really shuffle, right? Because all those cards. Thank you, Spirit. This is all being shown to you because this person has no secrets. They tell you no lies. Um, they're really looking for a safe place. Not, not to be someone's project because this person they can hold their own okay they can hold their own especially with the knight of pentacles yeah it's just that i feel like they were the king of pentacles but because of this loss they lost some money 
in the situation. Okay. And they need to rebuild. And that's what they're trying to do. And they're stable. Don't get it twisted. They're not broke. They're not coming out looking for a handout. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. This is not your average schmegla. Okay. Spirit is guiding them to, uh, to bring in this abundance with the will of fortune. Okay. To bring in this abundance with this will of fortune. I can't make this shit up. But they have to be connected with the right person. And that person was depleting them of their finances and their energy. This is why it's a necessary transition and a necessary death in order for this transformation to start. Okay? <clears throat> a lot of enlightenment from the ending to the new beginning. Okay? So let's talk about it. I keep shuffling and I didn't even, I mean, I keep ready to go in and I didn't even shuffle right Okay, I got all of their cards out. All of their cards was flipped over to be revealed. And I, I didn't even, this is my first time using a deck, okay? You have the Five of Cups, exactly, abandoned and alone. That's you. You feel alone. You feel tired. You feel like, you know, I only got these two cups that I'm, I've been filling up myself. But I want more. And so does this person. Nine of Cups is out here. All these cups is not for this one person. It's for the both of you. Wow. I think I've seen another card. I really did. I think I saw a card. I don't know what what kind of deck is this spirit. This, the cards just be coming up. Hold on, y'all. I swore I saw it. I'm not about to search. Yep, I know I ain't lying. Yo. So... <clears throat> There will be some conflict about whoever's leaving them, whoever they're leaving. Um, and it is also could be conflict with trying to connect with you. Um, that's why with the Knight of, Knight of um, Pentacles, slow moving because of the confrontation. Okay? But have no fear. Judgment and justice is here. Okay? Thank you, Spirit. That's all they cards. You sure? You sure? You sure, Spirit? Because, ooh, child. All right? Because right after this Five of Wands, you have the death. I end them. The person is going to be defeated. I can't make this shit up. They are being defeated. Thank you, Spirit. Hold on, y'all. Let me fix these cards. <clears throat> all right? You got the Two of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles, right? Balancing out what I have left over. I want to give it to somebody. I want to invest in someone that's not going to deplete me. Let me take my shit and keep it moving, right? And that's what this person is doing. They're moving on from a connection that neither one of them are good for each other. A lot of friction, a lot of fighting. And that's what's been slowing this person up to come towards you because enlightenment had to happen. They needed to get it. The other person needed to get it. But see, the other person was dealing with this person only for their money. They wasn't dealing with them. They was dealing with them for money, power, and control. And that person didn't realize it for whatever reason. The only thing I could think of is that they really did love this person, right? But they've come to realize and understand that I'm not winning with this person. It's time for me to cut this off with the death card. And this person wants to put up a fight. They 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 feel away, right? And it's also a conflict within the person that's leaving. Like they don't want to hurt that person, but when clarity comes, what you gonna do? You gonna you gonna keep living a lie? No, I'm not gonna keep living a lie. I'm not gonna keep pretending that you know we're happy when we're not. Let's just call it quits. That's why it says better an end to a thing to, than its beginning. Because you elevate. Okay? You elevate. All right? And once that death and transition happens, once they accept their fate, once they accept their fate, all right? Here come the nine of cups. When this person meets you, when they see you, they're going to be like, oh my God, my wish fulfillment. My everything. 
And you're going to feel the same way too. Look how you look. Look how you look. You're the same person. That's how I know this is you. This is Pisces. Okay. <laughs> this is Pisces. Okay. That energy. Uh-huh. I know I'm the bomb. I know I'm the shit. Right. But you humble with it. You're not, you're not bold and crazy with it. You humble. But y'all, these two cards resemble the shadow aspect. The whole time you was loving on yourself, healing, right? Waiting for your offer, waiting for this page of cups to come in. You've been loving on yourself. And you develop nine other cups for someone to come fill. And this person definitely wants to come and invest with you with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay? All right? All right, so let's go ahead at the bottom of the deck. What I say, this person is a emperor, okay? I told you, they just need the right place to be able to build their coins back up. And I don't want, when I say the right place, I don't mean stay with you. No, this person can afford their own. They're the Knight of Pentacles. What I'm saying is the right divine counterpart, someone to bounce ideas off with, someone to conversate with, someone to get their mind off of work and play, have fun, laugh, joke. You know what I'm saying? Have a pillow fight, sit in the ground and meditate. They just want peace. Okay? They just want peace. And that's what the Six of Swords is talking about. Looking for peace and joy and the calmness of the storm. Okay? So let's talk about you, Spirit. What would you like to advise about this Page of Cups for the collective? The collective right now that's watching, this is you, the Page of Cups. Whether you are Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or anywhere in your chart, you're embodying, you're embodying the Page of Cups. Right? And you're really the nine of cups. Look, I'm, I'm not playing. I'm not fucking playing. The sun. Okay, this is... And you might have a Leo coming towards you to offer you this love. Okay? Very successful union. Y'all even have a spirit baby like, hey, for those of you who want. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, boo. Let it fly, handsome. I'm just letting you know. Okay? The baby doesn't have to be a real baby. It could be an empire baby, a business baby, okay? An adopted baby, whatever. You never know, right, where life takes you, okay? I told y'all this is a divine union. But you have the sun, okay? You have the sun. You're embodying this happiness, this success. You know, Oshun is all up in it. Divine is all up in it. In your, yeah, man, I can't fucking make this up. King of Cups, let's go. I can't make this shit up, okay? You might be moving in a balanced energy where you are definitely looking for this person. You've matured. Thank you, Spirit. You've matured. You did the healing work, okay? And you've matured. And that's why you got the sun here. Okay? Look, the emperor comes right back out. I'm not fucking... You got king of cups to the emperor. All right? This person um, that's coming into your energy, the reason why I know that this person is the emperor because you are the king of cups and y'all both looking at each other. Y'all both have this... CEO leadership balance energy. You know what I'm saying? You're the lover and, you know, they are the manifester. Okay? You are the one that put the inspiration and y'all two together just make dreams come to reality. That's what I'm seeing with the emperor. Yeah. This person has a lot of wisdom and a lot of stability, okay? You are balanced in your emotions. You're not controlling. This is what this person was leaving, okay? They had to get the fuck out of Dodge. Okay? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Spirit. What else about this energy? Thank you, spirit. Look, look. I can't fucking make this shit up. Victory. 
Are you ready to be recognized for all your efforts? This person is going to love on you. They are going to um, really acknowledge everything about you. You may feel like this person is love bombing you, but they're not. They're just really putting you on the pedestal where you belong. Because remember... Even though this person may come at you in the beginning when y'all meet as the Knight of Pentacles, right? The Knight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Emperor, and the King of Wands. They all embody the same energy, boss. This is who this person is. You might even meet an Aries, okay? Or they got Aries somewhere in their chart, maybe in Jupiter, all right? Um, but they look at you as, you know, someone that really deserves the spotlight. All my attention, all my love, okay? See you as a balanced, successful person. They see you as someone that, you know, worth the effort. Worth the effort, okay? Thank you, Sarah. Anything else? Can we clarify the Six of Wands for the Page of Cups for the Collective? That's really the King of Cups. Like, you elevate and this person elevates. Okay? Y'all both can't be Alpha. <laughs> and the Emperor trumps all the Kings. Okay? You you could do bad by yourself, but you could do so much better with somebody else that's on your team. That's for you. And this person is definitely for you. Okay? You have the Eight of Swords. This person knows that, you know, maybe you've been feeling stuck in your head. Um, got you holding back. You're holding back from what? Let me see. What are you holding back from? What are you holding back from? I feel like you're modest. You know, when people try to put the light on you, you hide. You lost a lot of your confidence. Even though you are the king of cups, you still, you're not perfect. Okay? Um, can we clarify? Can we put there's something up there's something that you need to work on when it comes to your thought pattern with the eight of swords on top of the king of cups. But there's a lot of victory, there's a lot of success, there's a lot of enlightenment that's gonna come from this person as they boss up, you gonna boss up. Y'all gonna move together. That's how powerful y'all are. Thank you, Spirit. Can we clarify the Eight of Wands? I'm sorry, the Eight of Swords. I said the Eight of Wands. Communication is coming in, definitely. Thank you, Spirit. Can we clarify, please, and thank you? <clears throat> mm -mm, don't do that. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. So, Spirit is about to clarify this devil energy. Um. Yeah. You're afraid to get hurt. You're afraid to be in a trapped relationship, bondage, attached to someone that's not for you. And so you have your defenses up. You have your guard up. You have your boundaries. Um, maybe too much. Maybe too much. Mm -hmm. Y'all both do. Y'all both do. Y'all are going to teach each other. How to drop those boundaries. How to let go of the fear. Thank you, Spirit. What else do you want to say in that vibe? Please and thank you. With enlightenment. I'm telling you, this is a spiritual union. You know, you're going to get your happiness. Wow, all of that. You're going to get it. They're going to get it. But there's work to be done. Okay? And with the Seven of Pentacles... 
and a towel didn't i say there's work to be done yeah some things is gonna have to get you think that you've been working hard waiting for the rest of your pentacles to come in all i need is three more pentacles mm -mm. Mm -mm. i feel like this is this person <laughs> they put their goals and their finances first and spirit is like um i got a hiccup to throw in that okay yeah let's talk about your love life yeah, you need to work on why well, I got to fall. Hold on, y'all. So, collective, you need to work on letting your guard down and not thinking the worst. And this person needs to let go of working so hard to try to get over a loss. And love. I told you this person is leaving somebody that is no good for them. Okay? And y'all both have to teach each other a lesson. And that's the lesson. They're gonna, it's not like once the lesson is done, it's a done deal. I'm not promising that it's not. But I don't see that. And the reason why I don't see that is because I see Will of Fortune. I see Death. I see the Nine of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Sun. Don't forget the sun. When you have the devil and the sun, the sun is going to come and reveal what is hidden, what needs to be worked on. And you both have this issue. You both have an issue. This person is afraid of love, so they work hard. You're afraid of love, so you keep yourself protected and stay in hermit mode. Okay? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I like how y'all cross into each other's um energy. Mm hmm You got the five of swords. Yeah. Okay, at the bottom of the deck. Um and this is the power struggle. That y'all might have to get over. You trusting them. And them trusting you. That's what it all boils down to. Y'all both want this. Y'all both want it. Y'all want this. And y'all want this. Anytime you desire change. You desire transition. Anytime you desire change. You desire transition. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Spare anything else for the collective late night messages? Please and thank you. Anything else? Mm hmm. Nothing else. Okay. So I'm going to leave the five. Oh, look at the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> look at the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Spirit is telling me to put it right here. All my stones. Don't be pushing my world. I need my world up front and center. All right. Sorry, y'all. I'm such a stickler for things being a certain way. All right. So, let's pull some romance cards and see what's what. Mm -hmm. Y'all both want the same thing. I told you that. Y'all want your wish fulfillment, right? Y'all want emotional fulfillment on all levels, just about. Because you don't have the Ten of Cups, but you do have the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, look. Didn't I say a new beginning? I can't make this shit up. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why. Yeah. This is a spiritually designed. Yes. 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 Look at all these good, juicy cards that... That's hiding under the Ten of Pentacles, okay? This is your Ten of Pentacles, okay? The Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, a soul union, all right? Y'all both been praying for each other with the Four of Swords, right? Ready to celebrate, ready to gather together, you know, ready to enjoy life. Here go the lovers. You got the lovers and the Two of Cups, okay? 
Yeah. Something for you to learn. And you know it is because you got the world here. This is your Ten of Pentacles. Your Ten of Pentacles ain't just money. It's everything in between. Okay? Everything in, in between. Okay? And this, is, this has the potential to be manifested. <clears throat> yep. I can't make this shit up. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Let me shuffle one more time and we're going to pull out a couple of Oracle cards. Alright. Thank you, Spirit. Wow, your crush is popping out. So, what I say? Freedom. Yes, freedom to love, freedom to be yourself, freedom to really enjoy life. When we can be ourselves, we are then able to freely love. Then I fucking, you look at the card and you see freedom and you're just like, yes, look at that shit. Just free to love each other with no restrictions. No restrictions. What is that like, right? That's yummy. <laughs> to find your divine counterpart that you just go together with them there's no putting on a show it's just pure love and stability and just organic love spirit what else do you want to say to them about this divine union this is your 5d person this is somebody that really, really wants to come in and pour love into your life, right? Con then I say freedom from control issues, yo. Yeah, that's what this person is walking away from. By trying to control the situation, you'll only slow down your answered prayers. Let the divine take the lead. You see what I said when I said, y'all, I justice, judgment, and the will of fortune, and death. Yo, if that ain't spirit divinely controlled, I don't know what is. But they're saying that you need to just open up and allow this to happen when it comes to your front door, when it meets you while you're at the supermarket, when you're washing clothes in the laundromat, when you're stopping for gas, okay? Yeah, I don't know why all those are like... I think because you, you, you collective be in your house hermit mode... You don't really get out. You don't go on dates. And this person is coming out of a situation. So you already know their date in life has been on a standstill for a while. I'm picking up. They slept in separate bedrooms. That's how crazy it was. Wow. For a long time. Paying a mortgage. Paying the bills. Just working. That's why that person is in that energy. And their life lesson is to learn with you. Don't put work before love because you've been hurt. You waiting on, this person is waiting on their pinnacles to roll in because they lost. They know who they are as the emperor, but they're in the nine of pinnacles. But they still doing very well. But according to them, mm -mm, mm -mm. not that Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. They might be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, and Venus. Because it's all about partnerships. And you know when you make money, you have to partner with people. Mm-hmm. But they could be a Libra. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. What else do you want to say to the collective? Please and thank you. Late night messages. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, though. I love it. I love it. I love it. And that's what this Libra moon is bringing in. Enlightenment in your partnerships. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Spirit. This landed right on the Seven of Pentacles. Falling in love. What the fuck I say? I can't make this shit. This landed right on the Four the seven of pentacles this person is waiting for delayed success in your finances and spirit is saying the feeling of falling in love is one of a kind 
Know that it is safe for you to be in love. And that's what spirit wants to teach this person that's coming into your life. That it is safe to love. What you had in the past is not love. That was a lesson. And a lot of times people get lessons in love confused. Okay? Real love is a two-way street. It's equal give and receive. It's balanced. Okay? You take your time. There's no competition. Right? At all. And that's what this person embodies. They embody balance. They embody equal give and receive. They embody taking their time, really getting to know a person, okay? But because of this situation happening, it put them in the seven of pentacles, right? They went back a little bit and they got to rebuild. And that's what their focus is. But spirit is saying, uh-uh. I'm sitting in this tower, right? I'm sitting in this tower and I'm sitting in these five of cups, I'm sitting in this tower and I'm sending it towards your five of cups, towards your person to bring you in. Boom. Out of nowhere. That's why I said at the gas station, at the supermarket. I don't know, but yeah, man. A divine intervention on your daily routine. On your daily routine. Okay. Yeah, I think when y'all first meet, this person's going to make you laugh or you're going to make them laugh, okay? The laughter shared between soulmates warms the spirit in a way no cult could ever. I think that, you know, divine, because divine is L-O-V-E, when two people, two souls get together and they connect, right, and they laugh, Right, that real genuine, it's so yummy and cute. It's like, you know, I don't even know how to describe it. I just know what I feel. It feels like being on a Ferris wheel, you know, it takes you up high, it goes down slow. You enjoy, you know, your stomach might go up a little bit and get butterflies. Your head is spin, but it's slow enough for you to enjoy the ride, okay? And I feel like when two genuine soul star seeds get together, this is what Devon feels. The love between y'all warms the creator. Right? Another one bites the dust, I'm hearing. <laughs> Spirit said, I am in the field of putting together legacies of people connecting and building families, replenishing the earth. I did a uh, love reading one time and Spirit gave me a channeled message that said, because of all of the souls that were lost, they are being reincarnated back to earth through love, through connections, through partnerships to replenish the earth. That's why I said a spirit baby with the sun. For some of you, if it applies, let it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I have to speak to everyone. It is general, okay? Anything else you want to say to the collective? Where we at? Where in the world is my time? I can never find the time I want. I'm looking for it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. Okay, let me hurry up. I be trying to do some... Y'all, I really do. I really do be trying to do, like, 30-minute reading. But it is what it is. This pink moon is serious, y'all. Y'all need to really take it serious. Expect a lot of changes. Expect a lot of um, a lot of uh, things coming out. A lot of uh, revelation. Okay, life changing events. What I say? What I say? What I say? <laughs> life. L I F E. Remember that movie with Martin Lawrence and Eddie Murphy? Yes. Okay. Um, realizing that, you know, we in this together through thick and thin, no matter what, 
Oh my God, that is so sweet. Your life partner. Okay, it says this person is someone that you can enjoy life with wholeheartedly. You two can get through anything together. I just said that. I love spirit. I love my, my spirit, guys. This reading is so beautiful. Can I can I be invited to the to the wedding? I want to slice a cake. I want to throw. Uh, I hear somebody's gonna have a wedding with bubbles. Yeah, a bubble, really nice ones. Not no, not no craziness. Okay, annoyance. You or your partner may be annoyed right now. Didn't I fucking say this person is irritated? They not even, yo. They not even looking for love. They not. They want it. Spirit know your heart, even if you try to hide it, okay? Give each other space to cool off to avoid more arguments. Um, word of caution, because of whoever they disconnecting from. When I saw this death card, I did say that this person, I see it two ways. This person is coming towards the family, leaving someone that they have no children with. Some of you, your person is coming towards you and they having to leave behind their children because, you know, the children are with the mother, right? It's just what it is. It happens all the time. But they have a strong relationship with their children and they're going to continue to pursue that. But because this person that's laying on the ground feeling defeated, they're going to utilize the children to get at the father and, and cause this. But I'm telling you, the way Spirit got this set up, you ain't got to worry. Just be quiet. Allow this person time to cool off. They're going to come to you. They're going to talk to you. Let them come to you. You don't chase, honey boo. You're supportive. You're quiet because you know. And I think that you probably, some of you have been in that situation. Why is the, the tr y'all. <laughs> mm. This person is relocating. That's how crazy it is. And it's not to scare you. It will diffuse. It's just, you know, all, all bark, no bite. That's who this person is that they are leaving. All bark, no bite. They don't have the finances to carry this shit out into court. They don't have the finance. No. They just do. Let me tell you, when you use your kids to get back at somebody because they don't want to be with you no more because you ain't doing nothing good for nobody and you just you you using them and it's revealed you and you mad you mad because the person don't want to be with you how you mad like that's slavery that's like you trying to control the situation okay yeah you guys have a connection this person let me tell you remember when i said this person be sleeping in separate beds okay this person has been telepathically talking to you for a while it's bizarre okay y'all have a strong connection it says pay attention to the telepathic messages that are being sent and received at this time this person talks to you through music and all like through messages on tv commercials sometime when you just watching a movie a specific message will come out Listen and reflect. I can't fucking make this shit up, okay? It says sometimes what a person needs is not a wise mind that speaks, but a patient heart that listens. Didn't I just say that? When this person gets annoyed, collective, when they get annoyed, don't don't chase. Just be ready and open for them to come talk to you because they're going to come talk to you, Okay? You don't know what a person is leaving from to learn with you. They have to learn that you are safe with their emotions. And men, they have a hard time sharing their emotions because they don't feel like they have a safe place to do it. It's females too. It's a two-way street. just depends on who toxicity you was raised around, what type of energy you're going to have with them. Okay, I'm going to pull one more and then I'm going to leave y'all with a question and close out this reading. But this is so yummy. Yeah. 
this person you you're built for and i don't want you to look at it like you're not nobody's project okay that's not what it's about it's like an ending to something where somebody just needs some encouraging words they need love and if you embody pisces cancer scorpio that's you okay member collective you're intuitive you are spiritual this person is going to be amazed at the type of uh spirituality that you are on they're gonna really be mesmerized by your strength emotionally king of cups okay yeah and this person is not coming empty-handed. They have a lot to offer. It's just, you know, when you have a connection with somebody and there's children involved, you know, people don't want you until somebody else wants you. Then they really want you. But when they have you, they don't know what to do with you. Right? Exciting news. Okay? Good news is coming your way. Whether it be a pregnancy, <laughs> an engagement, or moving in together, get excited and celebrate. I'm telling you, when you just know, when you just know, when you just know, okay? Dishonesty. There seems to be some disconnect. Use this time to address any issues to restore harmony in this relationship. Um, when I see disharmony, this is something that this person needs to learn with you and you need to learn with them because y'all both have similar stories, right? And I feel like that's why the Knight of Pentacles is here. This is something that this person desired with the Six of Pentacles, the balance, Okay. Yeah, this is what they desire, and this is what you desire, okay? They know how to do this, and this is what they want. They want a connection that is balanced, okay? Love at first sight. I can't fucking make this shit up, okay? Yeah, you just know when you know. And people don't believe in it, but that's them. You believe in what's best for you in your life. Some people only believe that a decent nine to five job that gives them benefits is the best thing that they could ever have. Other people's is like, no, I want to build my empire. I want to pay for my health. You know, rich people pay for their health insurance. They don't have no government insurance. Mm -mm. We, we pay if we got to be in a hospital, we paying the bill. So it just depends on what level you believe you deserve. Some people believe in love at first sight. But I feel like the instant gratification and pull, especially with telepathy out here. Yeah, y'all just know. Y'all just know. And with this tower, this is what towers do. Towers rip shit up and, and they allow shit to come together that's supposed to be. Okay, and I feel like that's what this tower is here for. Warm embrace. Yeah, this person, they don't, they haven't been hugged in so long. You have the perfect waist to hug. You have the per perfect uh, broad shoulders to hold on to. Okay, harvest. Yeah, six of cups. I'm sorry, the six of wands. The Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Cups, um, the Ten of Pentacles, the Sun. I don't, I don't know how much more harvest you need. You plant the seed that the universe gave you. Due to your patience and growth, you are now able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. And that's what I said with this Page of Cups and the King of Cups. Okay? This person is transforming too. Let me show you. Because y'all act like y'all forget. Y'all act like y'all forget. Sorry. <clears throat> Remember I told you they go from the Knight of Pentacles to the what? To the Emperor. Bows from the door. Okay? Bows from the door. Okay? Yeah. Taurus, Scorpio, Aries. I 
All right. Yeah, if I keep pulling from these cards, it's crazy. Sexual healing. I can't fucking... <laughs> Sexual energy can be used to reconnect. Let your bodies release some tension and enjoy pleasure. Yeah, some of y'all definitely have been closed off because of your inner fears. One of your fears is being vulnerable, naked, in front of somebody. Because you're so complacent and comfortable with the toxic ex. But if you could be vulnerable and, and open with somebody that wasn't no good for you, then how much more are you willing to give somebody a chance that is good for you and be vulnerable and naked in front of them? Trust. Sorry about that. Oh, I forgot. I don't know how to shuffle these damn cards. They so small. <laughs> Spirit, what questions do you want to leave collective during this full moon in Libra when it comes to their future lover? When it comes to their soulmate twin flame connection with this person that's about to come in when i heard that the bus outside was a big old coach bus i said this person is moving towards where you live or close by no questions there you ain't got no advice what question do you want to leave collective when it comes to this connection all right spirit <laughs> what question would you like to leave collective please and thank you thank you anything else because you was quiet quiet okay all right <clears throat> the first question that came out was I'm so sick of this damn card. <laughs> Every time I want to close the reading, it'd be like, pull one more card. Ask a yes or no question, then draw a card, and an even number means yes, and an odd n number means no. Okay. All right, so we got to do that. I'm going to do that in a second. Let's see what the second question was. What can I do to come into a place of forgiveness with this person? Um, I feel like that's why judgment and justice is here. This person is being guided to see things from a different perspective when it comes to their ex-soulmate. Because that was a soulmate. This ain't no regular schmegler. Stuff like this don't happen to regular schmegler. This happens to people that are in each other's life to learn from each other. Okay? Um, bear with me one second to find a card. Spirit be having me pull out the twin flame soulmate cards. <clears throat> I know my readings be long, but lately it's a lot of changes. And y'all could attest to that. It's a lot of changes. Let me shuffle real quick. Thank you, Spirit. One more time. One more again. Two for the twin flame. Two for the soulmate. So four times, Spirit. Okay. 444 44 The number 4 Oh shit Today is the 4th <laughs> By the time y'all see this It's April 4th Okay Um. Yeah 4-4 four, four. I was wondering why Spirit giving me that number <laughs> Yo I can't make this shit up Look can y'all see that? Wait, can y'all see that? Ain't that the number four? Hell motherfucking yeah. Okay, so it's this question. All right, it's this question, definitely. All right, so 
I'm going to put three pals. I'm going to do a little something with y'all because Spirit just guided me to do it. Um, <clears throat> Spirit, what is all my stuff? Okay, so I have amethyst. I have a pink rose quartz. And I have... For the third card, oh, y'all can't really see. I'm sorry. Let me push this up a little. All right. Can y'all see? Yeah. And I have pyrite. Okay. So, let me see where we at. We almost at, we at an hour and some change. Oh, my goodness. All right. <laughs> Spirit, Um, just give y'all a moment of silence. Okay. A moment of silence. And I want y'all to meditate on a number and a pile. If the number is even, even if it's not the number on a card, if it's an even number or it goes with an even number, then that's that's your answer because you picked the even number. And if it's an odd number, then it's no. Even, yes, odd, no. Pick a pile. Do, 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 do. Okay, I won't do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm so only one card, y'all. Only one card. The card on the top. Okay. It says, ask yourself a yes or no question and then draw a card. So, pal one. And you're welcome to pick all three pals, one pal, two pal, whatever comes to whatever comes to you, whatever you feel. Okay, you have pyrite, you have amethyst, and you have rose quartz. Okay. Hmm. All right, y'all ready? Okay. So for pal one that picked rose quartz, okay, your card is. The number one. So the answer is no. Okay. But the card says. We need to wait for divine timing. Time is healing our wounds and creating the perfect condition for our reunion. You see how your boo thing talking to you in this reading? Yeah. He on his way. She on her way. Right. But she don't want to come to you with baggage, baggage. I mean, they got some, they got some stuff, but not, not to the point where things are official. Okay, um, I don't know, but that's your card. Okay, so no, and you need to wait on divine timing, which is at play. That's why divine wanted you to see this reading. All right, all right. So pal two, if you pick amethyst. Okay, if you pick the beautiful amethyst, this is all about your intuition, your psychic abilities, your telepathic messages. Let's see. Another odd number. No. Okay, so no to whatever question you was thinking, but spirit wants to advise. I feel abandoned. I often feel like others let me down. Yo. I feel like this is both of you. And when you have the number one and the number nine, that equals what? The number 10. Didn't I say in order for you guys to establish this, you first have to have a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles? There's work to do, okay? For this love, okay? You got the lovers and the two of cups. There's work to do to create this world together. All right, so get your rest, okay? Allow yourself to celebrate along the way, but you guys are about to definitely manifest some shit and come out of this four of pentacles and four of cups energy because y'all both are going to get inspired through each other and get the clarity that is coming in with the Knight of Swords and the Hermit. I'm trying to close this reading spirit And you got me pulling cards Like we ain't got nothing to do <laughs> Okay So 
Pal 1 and Pal 2, for those of you who picked Pal 1 and Pal 2, that's a two-fold message right there. You're welcome, boo. All right, let's get to Pal 3 because y'all been patiently waiting. Patiently waiting, hence the Knight of Cups, okay? Hence, the I mean, the Knight of Pentacles, all right? So, y'all have been patiently waiting on this abundance, okay? And this is Pyrite, okay? So... You got the number 10. Yo, I can't. <laughs> Yo, I can't fucking make this shit up. Oh, my goodness. Do you see? Can y'all see? Oh, my goodness. This feels like two people in the 5D embracing each other. Um... I always felt I had a higher calling in life and our connection brings me more clarity on it. Didn't yo, I'm putting it down. I feel like, yo, I tried to do three separate piles. It feels like your person is talking to you in each pile. Y'all mirror each other. Y'all mirror each other. Justice is right here. I'm pulling from a whole nother deck that's just sitting there nice and shuffled. Justice, the Knight of Wands, okay? Justice says, I'm coming in passionate and hot. I'm coming in to give you what you deserve, what you've been waiting on with the Two of Wands, okay? And the Page of Wands, yo, let's go. Let's go. With the Ace of Coins, let's go. You got a winner. That's what I'm hearing. I'm not I'm not allowing this reading to go any further because this is just too much, okay? This is too much. I'm about to go to bed and I'm about to go in hermit mode. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this beautiful 5D reading for your, your late night messages, um, you got some good things coming in with this pink moon. Okay, definitely leave me a comment when it happens, if you don't believe now. But um, <clears throat> Spirit is definitely advising you guys um, to really think about this question. What can I do to come into a place of forgiveness with this person? And that's something that you both are going to learn how to do through loving each other. How to forgive, because if that had not ended, if it had not ended, how would you meet? How would y'all come into contact with each other? 10, 10 wins. I always tell you that no matter how it's broken up. Okay? And when you break down these numbers, ain't that the number 11? Twin flame, twin soulmate. However you want to say it. All right? All right, honey bun, I love you guys. You have a blessed night and enjoy this reading. Watch it as many times as you would like. More is to come, honey boo. Handsome. Bye.